I'm not going to be teaching you the left hand of the verse pre-chorus and chorus. So to begin with, our verse starts with a dotted minimum, which if you pause the video, I'm sure you can answer how many beats long it is. Well, since we've had this time, it is three beats long. So here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and uh -huh. Now this little um, two bar figure repeats. So if you just learn these two bars, you don't have to learn anything new because that little riff repeats. So here we are again, left hand riff. We've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three. On four, we've got a little run. Now, just to give you a little bit of music theory, this little run, is known as a chromatic scale. Well, if you had more notes, it would be a longer scale. A chromatic scale just means that you are going in half steps. Notice there's no black key in between the white keys. So E and F are the two closest notes and F to F sharp is the next two closest notes. So a chromatic scale just means you're playing the, the, all the closest notes to each other in order so you're not skipping any notes at all so try to practice this really slowly and count it and i'll be back for the pre-chorus next in the series is the pre-chorus we are now looking at the bass line which contains a dotted figure what do i mean by dotted figure or dotted rhythm it just means that it's a pattern that has a long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. So that's the easiest way to think of a dotted rhythm is just to say the words long, short, long, short. But really what a dotted rhythm is, is that if you have a dot, the dot adds on an extra half a count to the note. So for example, if you are... Uh, adding a dot to a crotchet, you know that a crotchet is one beat, but what's half of a crotchet? That's right, it's a quaver or half a beat. So you're then adding a dot which is half of the crotchet to the crotchet. So you've got one and a half counts now. So you're actually holding the dotted crotchet for one and a half counts. So it's going one, two, and so the reason why I put the and is there's a quaver after the dot, which comes on the second half of the beat. So the easiest way is to think of a cookie where you have one whole cookie, half, and this other half that is remaining. Um, I like the cookie analogy and I hope it doesn't make anybody hungry. Now let's work through the bass line from the beginning until the end. There's only four bars. So you're going C, C, B, B, A, 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 D, 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 E, F sharp for whole four counts. So do pause the video and practice that and then we'll be back for chorus. Finally in the chorus we are looking at the left hand figure. We've got the dotted rhythms again, and this time it's really quite simple. You don't have to move your hand position at all. So just keep your hand from G up to D because all the notes that you need are in this range. So we're starting off with C, C, D, D, G, G, B, B, and then that pattern repeats. 